Hey everyone, welcome back to Magdalene's Craft. I'm your reader, Lily Magdalene, and we are doing a timeless reading today. I have four piles for this pick a card, and this is a video on who is spying or stalking you, which I feel like is really, really perfect because I just had someone <laughs> go up on my porch and leave beer. They left red striped Jamaican beer, and I don't know who it was or why. Um, <laughs> so I'm, I've been having some weird shit like uh, going on within my own life with people like being invasive or spying or you know coming onto my property or whatever. And I know it's weird to complain about free beer, but um, one, I don't drink beer. Two, I don't like receiving gifts, not knowing where the fuck they're coming from. Uh, for all I know, there's some weird energy on that shit, or you know, I don't know the intentions of why that shit's on my porch. I don't know and if you're the person who did it watching this uh congrats you got me bamboozled um my security camera will be fixed and in, in my uh front porch this week so um <laughs> if you decide to come back on my property i'm gonna figure out who the fuck you are um anyways like i said this is a timeless reading on who is stalking or spying on you so for pile number one is this agate it's a certain type of agate. I forget what it's, uh, the type of agate it is, but. Pile two is the cinnabar. Pile three is rainbow fluorite. And pile four is bloodstone. I know it looks like adventuring, but there's some red specks in it. This is a bloodstone. Um, all right, so pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. Let's get into it. All right, for those who chose the agate for pile number one, this is your reading on who is stalking or spying on you. This is someone you've either rejected or resisted. Yeah, some of you guys, this could have been someone that you've rejected. This person also finds you inspiring. They find you creative, imaginative. Um, so you really inspire this person and you've also prob probably resist this person or rejected them before. Um, they could be an earth sign I'm getting with this earth card. They also feel like you guys have your shit together. You're very grounded. Uh, for some of you, um, if you're like OnlyFans or sex worker, they're stalking and spying uh, your content or they are trying to, I'm also getting like peep and Tom vibes. Someone might be trying to like look through your window, watch you undress, um, stuff like that. So be careful. Um, this person can also be walking around um, on your property, on your ground. And you or this person could be an earth sign. You or this person could also be a Libra. This, this is someone that wants a new romantic cycle with you guys. So this could definitely be an ex. They're wanting to watch you guys while you sleep. So yeah, that I don't like that energy at all. That's that's too invasive. Um, they're wanting you guys. They're, yeah, they're wanting to like watch you, or they are watching you while you while you sleep. For some of them, they're trying to do like uh, OBE, like outer body experience, in order to uh, be in the same room as you. This person could also be doing come to me spells or some sort of love magic for you guys to come to them or to get back with them. This person is, they see you guys increasing your finances and your fortune. And they see that you're, you're creating your increase of fortune through your creative sparks and that like inspires them they find you very inspirational prediction uh this person that's talking or spying on you can be very very predictable like you may even already know who it is <laughs> at this point of the reading they could also live by the ocean or on the coast or um they could like sushi or seaweed This person could also be a hairstylist. This person is fucking desperate. They want you back so bad. 
They want you back so bad. They are desperate. And to the point, they're just like lingering. Some of you don't even know this person's lingering around you. Because they're trying to cloak themselves. They're trying to disguise themselves. They don't want you to know that they're fucking lingering around. This person is very desperate. Or they're in a very, um, they could be in a desperate time in their life. Because I'm also getting like a beggar energy or a homeless energy. Uh, that I only feel like that's only going to resonate for like one or two people though. Mm. This person thinks you're really, really sweet or you've been nice to them before. Or this person... Um, Lord, this might be my pal. <laughs> This person uh, wants to leave you treats. They want to treat you to something. They want to give you something. Whoever the fuck left that beer on my porch, I'm telling you. I feel like this is like my pal right now. Um, yeah, this person is like sad and they're wanting to like gift you with something so that you'll um, pay attention to them or give them a second chance. This person knows you're single, which is kind of scary considering they're like wanting to like peep in on you, uh, watch you while you sleep and shit like that. And this person knows you guys are single or that you're alone because you guys are trying to be your, your own knight in shining armor right now. You feel like you don't need um, someone to come in and save you from the tower. You're, you know, like, you're a princess. You can save your own fucking self. It's, you know, the vibe I'm getting. They know you're alone, okay? They know you're alone, which is kind of uh, creepy. And it's also the number one card. You guys could be a life path number one. I'm a life, uh, I'm a life path number one, so... This is resonating for me uh, very heavily. So if any of my exes are watching this, please stop stalking me. Thanks. Um, I'm seeing the number 37, the number 18, the number 45, the number 26, the number 25. And again, again, the number one. We got one twice here, okay? You guys are by yourself or you're single, or you're a life path number one. Maybe you were born on the first of a certain month. This person wants to like take you for them. They want you, they look at you like your property. They feel like you belong to them. I would protect yourself from this person just in case. I mean, it may not be too serious for some of you, but others of you, you may want to protect yourself if you're not, if you know, if this reading is making you un uneasy, protect yourself. I also got them. Um, I just heard this person could be a plumber or work in sewage or something like that. This person's wanting to reach out to you with a message. Um, they're actually even wanting to like hit you up for a fucking booty call. Like I'm seeing them wanting to text you or message you um, when you're supposed to be sleeping or like during the nighttime. And it could be very well because this person wants like a, you know, like a midnight booty call or something like that. I just heard they want to break your bed. So some of these people like, you know, they want to, <laughs> they want to have sex with you. But you you guys, if, you, if this is your ex, there is some injustice with your ex. Or you never felt like things were just in your relationship. There could have also been legal issues with this person. They also could be a farmer or work in uh, agriculture or plant stuff. They could also live out in the country.
this person wants to literally look at this like look at how her hands coming out and then this hand they want to grab you they want to take you for their own I'm also, this person is stalking you in the afternoon too. They're stalking you at night and they're stalking you during the afternoon. For a lot of you, they feel like you're trying to be independent. They also find you very defensive and with your guard up. And I think that's why they don't want to just come in and talk to you. I think that's why they rather stay on the sidelines and just watch and stalk and spy because they know you're very defensive and they know you have your guard up and they don't really want you. They don't want you like attacking them because they know you're ready to attack, not just them, but like anyone that is like interrupting your energy, your aura, your vibe, anything. I'm also hearing this person could be a, a drug dealer. I'm also hearing that you guys, if this is an ex, I'm hearing that you thought this was like your Prince Charming, but it, it just, he just ended up being a fucking frog. He ended up being a frog. This person could also be a chef. Or work in the kitchen somehow. They think you're as beautiful as a painting, I heard. Some of them might actually try to paint your portrait or draw you like create some sort of self portrait for you I also feel like something could have happened between you and this person around Christmas time like December or winter um, I feel like they're really really sad about something that happened during or, or around Christmas and they're, that's why they're wanting to come in and give you a gift or a treat because they know that you're hurt and upset because it's something that happened around Christmas. And if Christmas doesn't resonate, it could have been like, you know, around Christmas, like before or after, just in general, like the, that winter month. Also, this person could be putting spell work and witchcraft on you. To get you to come to them. I think I already said that though. I also heard this person wants to plow you. So. <laughs> um, yeah. That's interesting. So anyways. If, the, if, this, <laughs> if this reading resonated with you guys. Or you just simply enjoyed it. Let me know down below in the comments section. Give this video a thumbs up. A like. Subscribe to this channel. As it really helps me out. I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number two. Hi, pal number two. This is your timeless reading on who is spying or stalking you. Ooh, this person wants to jump through your window for some of you. And they're straight up trying to climb into your window and or into your house. This person also watches you in some sort of mirror. They're able to have access to you through a mirror. Whether that's a real life mirror in your house or in your job or whatever. Or this person could be putting some sort of like doing some sort of mirror magic in order to see you. This person's mad at you. They could also be a little mental or they think you're mental. There's some sort of death, could be a, an actual physical death, 
or it could have been death to a job relationship situation. Take what resonates. This person feels backstabbed by you. Or maybe this person has backstabbed you. You guys take how it resonates. This person is putting some fucking magic on you guys. They're, they're getting readings done on you. They're doing spell work to spy on you. They're doing rituals on you. Because they're fucking angry. Good God, this person is angry. They feel like you guys abused them. Maybe this person could have physically abused you. But there is also a clash of collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, and energies. You and this person did not get along. I'm also seeing the number 33, 24, 35, 31, 23, 8, 49. And then down here we got potion. This this person is trying to pull out every spell and potion on you guys. Or they're trying to figure out if you're doing that to them. Because some of you, this person's life is going to fucking shit left and right. Things are dying. And I, it doesn't have to be physical. Like things are ending left and right in this person. And they feel backstabbed from some of you because they feel like you're putting fucking spells, rituals, and uh, potions and shit on them. They think you're putting, you know... Voodoo, hoodoo, witchcraft, whatever. You name it. They feel like you're doing this and they feel stabbed in the back. They feel abused. They can't sleep. For some of you, their benefits are being cut off. And they're pissed about it. And it, they're, they're pissed about it because they think you're causing it. And for others of you, this person just simply doesn't like you. And they're, they're putting rituals and potions on you to end things in your life to end your benefits to stab you in the back to abuse you emotionally spiritually or physically this is a toxic fucking pile it really is whoever's stalking you pile number two this person is very very toxic and if they're not toxic they're just highly assuming you guys are putting work on them some of you may literally be putting work on this person and some of you may not be this person has reached the conclusion you guys are putting work on them, though. They know. They know it's you. And some of you, you really are putting work on this person. For others of you, this person is trying to put work on you. This person is so mad about some sort of ending... They can't even sleep. This person's basic as fuck, too. I'm also getting, like, baby witch vibes. So this person may be, you know, trying to pull all rabbits out of their hat. As, you know, they're putting work on you as they're learning it. Because they don't even know what they're doing. This person had a pathway to some sort of benefits. Now, this could be government benefits. It could be health benefits, some sort of assistance or financial, whatever. This person had a pathway to benefits. And they feel like... They feel like it's ended or it has ended and they're really pissed off about it because this pathway of their benefits they thought was forever. They thought that shit was going to continue to always flow to them or to always be there for them, whatever it is in their life that's been beneficial. And they thought it was forever or that it would never stop. <laughs> but it is or it did. This person could also own a cat. I'm seeing an orange cat. This person is trying to work with herbs. Yeah, they're trying to work with herbs. Herbs, candles, jar magic, 
they're trying to look into tarot and their crystal ball. They're they're very much watching you though. For some of you, they're watching you walk and climb to your true purpose, your true pathway in life. And they know that doing that is going to, you're going to reap the benefits from that. And that shit pisses them off. They don't want that to happen. They want that pathway to your benefits, your true life pathway. They want it to end. They want to stab you in the back. They want to abuse you spiritually and mentally. Some of you physically. Something could have happened to this person around Halloween. Or hap something could have happened with you and this person on Halloween. This person has a plan. They, I feel like they have a plan to take you out. Or they feel like you have a plan to take them out. They see you guys being dedicated to yourself. And they don't like it. And they gossip about it. They whisper about it. They also don't like how mysterious or unknown you are. Or how mysterious or unknown things in your life are. And that's why they're trying to spy on you so much. Some of you can literally feel them. Like intuitively or some sort of gut feeling. Like you, you've known this. You're feeling them around you. If they're even putting shit on you, you're feeling it. This person could also own like some sort of uh, wild animal or exotic animal. This, this person is also doing blood magic. And they're doing this because they feel like you need to apologize to them for something. They feel like you owe them an apology. Or for some of you, you always felt like this person owed you an apology. This person finds you to be really, really lucky. And they don't like it. And for others of you, um, they feel like how I said before, they feel like their benefits were forever or never ending. They felt like luck was always on their side and something happened with that and it involved you and they blame it on you. They don't blame themselves. They blame you. I'm also hearing sexual abuse. This person could have been sexually abused. You could have been sexually abused. This person could have sexually abused you. Or they feel like you sexually abused them. Everyone take what, how, you know, how things resonate. This person loses sleep over you because of this ending, because of this backstabbing. They are so mad, they can't even sleep. And I'm also hearing they're very, very immature and baby-like. Like, they, they cry when they don't get their way. I'm also hearing this person likes to stay in their room a lot. They, they stay in their bedroom a lot. You or this person uh, could also... Because I'm seeing boats. You could be like living near a sea or an ocean or this person could be. Or someone. I'm even hearing like Navy. Someone here is also in the Navy. Someone here also works with weather. Or they could be just trying to cause a storm in your life. This person could live somewhere where it storms a lot. Yeah, this person's losing sleep over you. And they're spying on you because they're trying to see if their spell work is working. They're, they're wanting to know if the work they're putting on you is actually working. 
All right, you guys, that's everything I see for call number two. If you uh, enjoyed this reading or if it simply resonated with you, let me know down below in the comment box. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to this channel as it really helps me out. I love and appreciate you guys so very much. Uh, don't forget you can book me for personal readings. And I'm going to go ahead and move on to pile number three. All right, pile number three, rainbow four eye. Who's stalking or spying on my pile number threes? All right, um, so it could be government or law or a police officer or something like that for some of you. You or this person is very abundant or prosperous. You are this person one. This person feel, feels like you abandoned them or this is someone who abandoned you. They could also live where it snows or mountains like Colorado kind of area. You guys are very, very abundant or wealthy or they are. You guys could also be a Taurus or they could be a Taurus. Um, this person that's spying or stalking on you, holy shit, I'm just now seeing this. So you guys, um, it's actually um, a few people spying and stalking on you um, because, <laughs> look at this, there's three women. There's three women. It's actually two women looking back at each other. So in a way, it's like four women here. You got a group of people stalking or spying on you. And they could be in the justice system or the legal system. This is someone who is... Yeah, this person could also be in the military. Um, something happened here that's just not fair. Whether it was to you... Or this person feels like something happened that wasn't fair. Something was not just. Justice was not served. Uh, Alright. This person feels like you should be behind bars. This person feels like you should be in jail or prison. Or you should be um, paying out some sort of alimony or child support or some something to do, to do they, they feel like some it says rules that are not fair they feel like the rules aren't fair right now like they didn't get justice and it's not just them it's multiple people what comes around goes around this person is uh, these people are trying to make sure that you get what's coming for you or what they feel like you deserve is coming for you. They feel like, they're like, all right, I didn't get my justice. We're going to, you know. This person's also putting magic on you guys. Excuse me. These people are putting magic on you. They're using crystals. They're using herbs. They're using the moon cycles. They're using mirror magic. They're doing group rituals. Honestly, this is very, very similar to pile number two. So if you are stuck between pile number two and pile number three, I heavily suggest to go back and watch pile number two's reading. This person could also uh, be a cancer or you guys are a cancer. I just heard these people want to cut you. You felt abandoned from these people. You felt like these people fucking sacrificed you. For some of them, you feel like these people used you for money or stole money from you. And you don't feel like it's fair or that you didn't get your justice. person or you could also be a Scorpio because I'm seeing Pluto energy also the number 11 the number 12 the number 7 the number 30 the number 26 the number 12 and the number 17 you're just you you guys have been abandoned and sacrificed possibly even stolen from done wrong 
maybe even by the legal system or you know the justice system but you guys are still keeping your head up high you're you're smelling the roses in your life and these people are trying to send spirits after you because they don't like that you're just you know a whole ass vibe they don't like that you're trying to do better or that you're okay they're trying to send fucking entities and spirits or ghosts at your ass because you're not seeking anyone's approval This person, oh, you guys could also be like um, a witch or pagan or Wiccan. I'm also getting like um, anarchy, like the A symbol for anarchy. Um, you guys could be like alternative or like punk rock or something like that, goth even. They don't, they know you're spending time alone. They know you're um, trying to do, like, reflect on yourself. Or for some of you, these group of people need to, like, reflect upon themselves because they're blaming you for shit that was actually their fucking fault. So they need to take a good look hard in the mirror and realize that they need to stop blaming people for their own shit, that they do this to themselves. And that's why shit ain't fair. Because you didn't even do nothing. It was then. And I feel like it's something that's happened a lot with the cycles. Like it's been a never ending cycle for some of you. One of the people in the group that's spying and stalking on you is sad about it. And they don't like that they're doing it. But the other two women is like making the third one do it. Because one out of the three people spying and stalking on you don't like the fact that they're doing that. But the other two are downright evil. And they know what they're doing and they don't care what they're doing. And they're very egotistical and prideful and narcissistic. And that's why they don't even see their own faults or what they do. You guys had to climb mountains in your life. You have not had it easy. You've been abandoned by these people or you've been abandoned by someone in your life. Oh God. And th these three bitches, they fucking, all right. If you guys recently went through like a breakup or anything like that, these little conniving ass bitches put some shit on you to make it where your person abandoned you. They are so jealous of your success. And for some of you, these people were trying to steal from you financially. You guys could work in a pharmacy or the health field, medical field. Some of you guys could be working in a kitchen like a chef. A lot of you could also be a mother. A lot of you are a mother. You're a mom. You have very healing energy about you and you're abundant and you have sacrificed very hard to be on the top of the mountain where you are and you're just trying to sit back and smell the roses. But these three people, they look, there's even three spirits around her. It's three people stalking and spying you guys. It's three people. I just heard you. If if you know the, who these three people are, do cord cutting magic now. For others of you, this person tried to do some sort of cord cutting between you and your partner, or you and your family, whoever it was that abandoned you. They tried to do some sort of separation magic. They feel like you are transforming your life through crystals and herbs. You're getting your money. Some of you may sell, you know, spiritual herbs. Some of you may be spell, uh, selling crystals.
they they see you transforming your career, your work life, your family life, your abundance. Take what resonates. And they don't like it because they feel like you did something when really it was actually their fault. Some of them even try to press charges on you guys or get you in trouble and it didn't work out. And they're like upset that that didn't work out. So that's why they're, they're resorting to magic. These people are also trying to uh, curse your money or curse your abundance, your prosperity. This person wants, excuse me, these people want you left to not even have a pot to piss in. They want you guys to literally be fucking homeless and alone. But they're going to have to realize that they're going to have to forever self-reflect. They're going to be forever looking in the mirror, wondering... Like, and it's probably going to be forever because they're never going to fucking get it. They're just one of them people that just constantly blames everyone. They're never going to get it. No matter how much self-reflection they take, they just don't get it. When people try to say, look at yourselves. Look yourselves in the mirror. Look at what you're doing. They don't, they don't want to do that. For others of you, this person will, to, all right, two of the people, because remember I said there's one in particular that don't like that she's involved with the other two. The other two that are downright evil and is like super conniving and is enjoying doing this to you, they're going to forever be forced to look at themselves in the mirror and it's not going to be pretty. They may even get exposed for what they tried doing to you. Or for what they have done to you. They all got different color hair too. Like somebody's blonde. Somebody's a ginger. Somebody's got black hair. Like all three of them got like different color hair. For some of you, you know, like they did something really bad to you and you felt like it wasn't fair, like you didn't get your justice. All right, that's everything that I'm seeing for pile number three. If it resonated or you simply just enjoyed this reading, let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to this channel as it really helps me out. I love and appreciate you guys so much and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to pile number four. So it's the bloodstone, whoops, the bloodstone for pile number four. This is your reading on who is stalking or spying on you. <sighs> All right, this is someone you had an ending with, someone you could have broke up with, or just simply had it some sort of ending with, and you guys felt like this ending was inevitable. Hmm. This person don't wanna let you go. They wanna come back home. And they're saying they will come back home. Okay. This person is trying to have the courage. They're trying to have the courage to do a few things. So for some of you, they're trying to have the courage to come back home. For others of you, they're trying to have the courage to just release you and not talk to you anymore. This person or you could be a Leo. I feel like this person could be a weed smoker. This person's stalking you on the internet. This is my spider card. This is my World Wide Web card. I like to call this my World Wide Web card. They're definitely stalking you online. They're trying to see what you're up to. This person has a lot of baggage. They cry over you. You left this person. Or maybe they left you and they regret it now. They're trying to keep up with you now. They're trying to come home now. They feel like time is running out. 
They're scared to come home though because they're scared that there's going to be like a fight or things are going to get really fiery. Yeah, they're, they're scared to come. They're trying to have the courage to come back here or come back home because they know there's going to be a fight or there's going to be like some fiery, you know, attitudes. You guys could also be a fire sign or this person could be a fire sign. Oh. This, uh, this person has a lot of faces. They're, they could have multiple personalities. They could be two-faced or even three-faced, I'm hearing. Um, they wear a mask. Like, they just change out who they want to be, like, when they're around for some of you. This person's trying to come to you with integrity, though. They're trying to come in with integrity and courage. And some of them are trying to have integrity and courage to let you go. They're being haunted by ghosts from their past. Something that they've done to you is haunting them. Or either this person is just very like Jekyll, uh, Jekyll and Hyde. But they are carrying a lot of weight on their shoulders, a lot of baggage right now. They're trying to see, they're trying to see the light at the end of the tunnel. They really are. I think this person misses you. person is wanting to put up put in immense effort to win you back or to go back in time um this person could also like boats or you guys like boats but in general i just feel like uh you sailed away from this person or either this person left you and they left you crying, left you with a you know bunch of weight on your shoulders. They're haunted by something. They really are. For some of you, this person could also be hearing voices, or hearing or seeing things, or dealing with like ghosts or something like that. I'm seeing the numbers 37 twice. 37, 37, and we have 21, 40, 30, 34, and 17. This person feels like they're going to run out of time or like they're going to lose you if they don't hurry up. This person says they will get you back. They are very determined to get you back. Or for some of you, they're very determined to release you and let this go. But I feel like for most of you, it is the courage to come back or to fix this. And for some of you, you know, it doesn't have to be a romantic partner. This could have been a falling out with, you know, a close friend, a family member, a co-worker. Um, take what resonates. This person is wanting to light the pathway to a more peaceful um, situation or relationship with you. Because they, they're tired of fighting. They're tired of being haunted by their past or by you guys' past. They're tired of crying. They're tired of missing. They know they either got to do this. They got to... They, they got to do this and come forward or they're going to have to release you. They know they, they need to make a choice and they feel like time is definitely running out. Someone here, whether it's you or this person, someone's Japanese. I'm getting like Japanese vibes for someone here. Or maybe someone you you or this person could have lived in Japan. And 
like I said earlier, you or this person could be a Leo or a fire sign as well. Um, but they're definitely stalking and spying you through the internet, through social media. I'm also hearing they want to cook for you. They'd like to cook for you. If you let them back home, let them come back. They know it's going to be tough getting you back or coming back to you too, but they're willing to do it. They really are. But until that happens, they're just over here lurking on the world wide web. <laughs> so that's everything that I'm seeing for pile number four. Also, you or this person could have blue hair right here. Her hair looks kind of blue right there too. And then she got blue flowers in her hair. So blue could be very significant. Um, or this person is like... Blue is associated with the throat chakra. So they know they need to speak up. They know they need to speak up already. Or they're going to lose you. They feel like they're going to lose you if they don't speak up. Or for some of you, um, you may not be talking to this person. And they're wanting to talk to you. But yeah, that's everything that I'm seeing for pile number four. If it resonated or you simply just enjoyed this reading, let me know down below in the comment section. Give this video a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to my channel as it really helps me out. And don't forget, you can book personal readings with me. And I am going to go and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.